What's up, team? Welcome back. It's your biggest fan, The Real Casadero. And in this lecture, we're talking about the HTML5 global attribute of draggable, which is also used with the HTML5 global attribute of drop zone. They aren't used together in the same attribute. I guess they could be. Anyway, team, here's the point is that both these attributes, they're separate, they're used separate, but you can use them together in conjunction with every other attribute and every other thing that you're going to find inside of HTML5 to build just about anything you can imagine, right? The number one skill we need to have when it comes to all of this is not necessarily understanding any of the stuff that I'm talking about, but it's being able to have an idea in your imagination or receive some sort of instructions from someone and be able to think your way through these instructions because there's different problems that need to be solved along the way and that's what you do team you are the problem solver you're also the creator the coder the artist the entrepreneur whatever team so you got to learn to think about this stuff for yourself i'm just here to show you the way so let's jump into it team and look at the html5 global attribute of draggable all right team so we're here on the desktop and the first thing we're going to do is create a new project so we'll just right click and we will go where is it at new folder and we're going to call this html5 draggable D R A G G A B L E draggable attribute A T T R I B U T E enter and now we'll double click to go inside of this folder we'll right click and say open with code it's going to open visual studio code and I've got multiple windows here let's close this one with the alt F4 and we don't want to save that we're going to go back over here to our main window do a control W control S uh, it's not do oh it's because we closed the other window so here we'll go new we'll right click inside of our explorer bar we'll go new file and we'll name this uh, index.html so now we have an html file and we just got to put an exclamation point and hit tab and we have a basic document we'll call this html5 uh, draggable d-r-a-g-g draggable attribute a-t-t-r-i-b-u-t-e and then we'll shift we'll control shift right at left arrow to select all of these control C and we'll just go and look notice how we're scrolling around let's hit um I think it's alt Z to turn on wrapping and then we'll hit control B to get rid of this sidebar and now we'll add a h1 and we'll just paste this in now what we're gonna do team is we're gonna hold the alt key and hit enter and that it's not that didn't do what I wanted it to do so we're on this line it should be alt enter or the control control enter my bad team to go down to the next line and make another line and now we're going to make two paragraphs and we're going to fill them up with some text because we're going to use these paragraphs to demonstrate uh, what draggable is team and let me adjust this volume it looks like it's up too high all right so what we do now is we just go down here and we're going to say p times two and a child item of that p so this is going to be less than is going to be our lorem text and we're going to make it 10 words and then we'll hit tab and we get two paragraphs so if we save and do an alt f4 we don't need this right here and right click inside of our folder again and go open with code like we've done so many times before already it's going to give us the ability to use um uh, we don't need this don't save all right it's going to give us the ability to use our live server so we'll open up our live server over here so we'll put one off to the left and we'll put our code off to the right and when we go in here neither one of these are draggable things so what we can do is we can add the attribute of draggable d-r-a-g-g-a-b-l-e and we can set this to true save and then we can drag this thing around now another thing we can do like say for instance this one doesn't have an attribute we'll give it one though we'll call this draggable and we're going to set this one to false f-a-l-s-e save and nothing changes we still can't drag it because false is the default now some items are automatically draggable like links and images uh, so if we add an a tag and we um, I don't know it doesn't matter we can just put this in here and we can say I am a link and I am draggable by default default and then here we'll put I am a link and I am not draggable because well actually we'll say not draggable uh, and then we'll say draggable draggable attribute is set to false 
F A L S E. Enter. Uh oh. Yeah. So we'll control S to save. And so links are inline elements. So we just need to put a BR to put a page break between them and put them on different lines. And we'll add another one to give some more space. Save. All right. So now we got some space between our links. And we can drag our links around just like we can our text that we set to be true. But down here, we can set this to false. Of course, we already know that, right? So draggable. And we can say false. Save. And then we won't be able to drag this link around. We can still drag this one because that's what the default is, but we can't drag this one around because we set this draggable to false team. Now, the default attribute is auto. So if it's set to auto, then every if it's a draggable element, then it'll drag. And if it's not a draggable, draggable element, then it won't team. Unless we explicitly spec unless we explicitly explicitly specify that we want to use true or false. Now images by default, so I've read or draggable, but when I tested it, I, I couldn't make them not drag. So like if we go out like I think I have an image I don't know if I have an image. If we go out to the internet and just grab an image, so we'll go internet. <laughs> we'll type internet. We'll go um Chrome. See uh, actually let's go uh edge. So we'll hit Windows Edge. And this will open Bing, and Bing has the best image search, I think. So we can go, uh, let's look at my computer case, NZXT um, 700. So we got these computer cases, we go to images, boom, we got all these cases. We have a white one, so we'll click this one. And these are actually not what I was looking for, but hey, look, you can get one on eBay for 138 bucks. Now let's go back. Uh, what's going on? Okay, all right, let's close this and go back over here. We just want the images, right? So this is going to be the organic images down here at the bottom. And this is just a nifty trick in case you have to ever need to find an image. And what we're going to do is going to say PNG, and we'll say white, W-H-I-T-E. So we're looking for just the white cases. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on, we'll click on this one right here click it again and now we got this full image we'll just right click we'll go save as and it's going to ask us where we want to save it and we're going to go to our desktop and we have this folder we, that we just made we just have to find out exactly where it is so we're going to make this bigger we're going to sort by date modified and now we have our draggable attribute there I'm going to save this inside of that folder close this out and now we can go here and we can set our image so we can go IMG. Well, actually, let's put our image outside of this link. So we'll go IMG, and then well, our source will be this image right here, and we'll say Alt, and we'll go the uh, NZX NZXT seven zero zero computer case. Save. Now we got our computer case there, and what we can do is add another attribute to control the height and width of this thing. So we're going to say um, height and the, and also height and width are global attributes as well. So we can set our height. We'll set this to 100 pixels. Save. And now it shrinks down to a more reasonable size. And we don't even have to specify. We can specify the width if we want. So we can go WIDTH is equal to whatever we want it to be. Actually, we need a um, got to put a quotation mark there we got to get rid of this quotation mark let's do an alt z so all this stuff wraps up and we aren't scrolling all over the place and that to, to do what i just did you just hit the alt and the z key team all right and we'll set our width to like 200 pixels so now we get an image that's you know stretched out you know what i'm saying so we can control we can control stuff like that team now also images are inline elements so what we want to do is we'll add a br underneath our link so we'll do br tab save so now our computer goes under these and we'll just add another one by holding alt shift and hitting the down key save all right so now we've got our computer image and by default these images are draggable now we should be able to turn this off i haven't tried this before i don't know if it's going to work but if we go in here and we go to drag a bowl and we set this to false. In theory, we shouldn't be able to drag this image around. And we can't, team. All right, so it worked. So that is how you can set things to be draggable and not draggable, team. That is it for this lesson, this lecture, whatever it is you want to call it, team. But uh that is that in the next in the next <laughs> in the next lecture we're gonna talk about 
drop zone and then we'll and then we'll actually go into how we can drag and drop stuff and that's gonna team i'm telling you it's gonna take you further down the rabbit hole because we're gonna be looking more at javascript in order to implement this stuff team like we have we have the tags we have the elements of html um, we have the attributes to do a bunch of cool stuff but there's times where we just need to use javascript to specify things and that's just the way it is right it's you know these things could in the future any of these things that we are doing in JavaScript could very easily become tags in HTML that just do the stuff for us, right? So, and, and we can make that happen by going off and, you know, joining the community and helping to write the standard or whatever. So whenever we have to use JavaScript, it's just because somebody else hasn't come up with one solid single tag or element or attribute or command that will execute all of those different things required to produce the action or the result that we want. And that's what we do as programmers. We are looking at a problem and we're using code to close the gap. So when we want to start a business, we look at all the different things out in the world, all the different possibilities there are to maybe going out and starting a business. And then we go, hey, how can we condense this down into something that a computer can help us do? Right. So maybe we don't need a storefront. All we need is a website. We need to sell stuff or we want to sell stuff or we want to sell a product or a service. So how do we give people the ability to to book us, to book an appointment without having to pick up the phone? We want to make everything as easy as possible. Right. You just go on the you just go on the Internet. You want to make an appointment. You click a couple buttons. You got an appointment. You want to order something. You click a couple buttons and it's on its way to your house. That's what we as developers do. Our mission is to make the world easier to use for everybody team and to make money while we're doing it i will see you guys in the next lecture